let's put this on. Now this, and makeup, voila. I'm ready, let's turn this on and get started. Hello Fluffies, it's your girl Mew Mew. Check out my new look. I've been waiting to show you this for a long time. What the hell, Monica? What are you doing? You've got school in three hours and you haven't gone to bed yet. Oops, <laughs> I hadn't realized it was five in the morning already. I would have definitely felt like a deflated balloon come morning. Actually, why do we say that? How would we know how a deflated mattress feels? Hmm. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Let me introduce myself. <sighs> my name is Monica, but my friends know me as Mew Mew. I'll tell you about my hobby tomorrow. Good night. And now, dear animators, let's flash forward. <laughs> I'm so glad that's an option on the private diary channel. If you don't forget to subscribe, of course. You catch my drift? So now I look like this. Things were different a year ago. What happened? Mm, nothing much. I just discovered the world of furries. Do you know who that is? Furries are people that are interested in anthropomorphic or cartoon animals. Google it. I'd always liked watching TV shows like Black Sad, Kipo, and The Age of Wonder Beasts and Beastars. So I bought furry ears wow. and a tail and became a furry. It had been my hobby ever since. I spent all my time and money on it. I hung out with other furries, ordered new costumes on eBay, and filmed videos for my channel. Of course, mom didn't like it at all. Your marks are slipping, and I know you've been skipping school. You're supposed to go to college in a year. Are you going to dress like this there too? Mom worked at a college, so I wasn't really worried about that. I would be accepted even if my grades were terrible, even if I had ears and a tail. She was just trying to scare me because she wanted me to be boring and plain, just like her. Mom constantly told me I should be more like Mrs. Gray, her boss and the rector of the college she worked at. You won't get anywhere in life if you don't stop messing around. Mrs. Gray would never put on cat ears and make faces in front of a camera. Mom, Mrs. Gray is 60 years old. Why are you comparing us? Because I want you to be successful just like her. Everyone should look up to the woman like her. Then do that. I just want to be myself. Ugh, mom didn't get me at all. I had to defend my right to follow my passion every single day. Oh, I didn't envy our neighbors. Mom and I fought like cats and dogs. Summer finally arrived. It was my last holidays before graduation. I wanted to remember them for the rest of my life. Soon mom told me amazing news. Monica, we're going to my sister's farm. Mom probably expected me to get upset and throw a fit, but I was over the moon. After all, there was a bunch of cute animals on the farm and I could film beautiful videos outdoors there. We. Nothing interesting happened on the way, so let's skip that. Whoosh! And we're there. I'd never been on a farm before. I couldn't wait to explore everything there and get to know the animals. I took my phone out and immediately started filming everything. Hello Fluffies, it's your girl Mew Mew. Look where I am. I'm going to post a lot of great content soon. Monica, quit it with your nonsense and say hello to your cousin. Terry was a year older than me. The last time we saw each other was when we were toddlers, so I hardly remembered him and was looking forward to getting to know him better. I went into the barn to look for him. It was dark there. I saw someone standing with their back to me and thought it was Terry, so I touched his shoulder. But then, the figure swayed, collapsed to the floor, and fell apart. I screamed, fell to my knees, and arched my back like a frightened cat. My terrified mother, aunt, and cousin ran into the barn, and I finally realized that the figure on the floor was just a scarecrow stuffed with hay. Oops, that was awkward. Monica, you're embarrassing me again. Everything's perfect. <laughs> at lunch, mom chatted with her sister while Terry stared at me like I was an alien. Why do you look like a cat? Can you meow too? My cousin <laughs> spent his whole life on a farm and knew nothing about trends, cosplay, or <laughs> furries. I was all too happy to tell him about my hobby and even offered to make a costume for him so that we could cosplay animals together. But Terry said that he, he didn't have time for that. Oh, my cousin and I were from different worlds and did not understand each other. And to be honest, it seemed a bit weird. Terry was constantly making creepy scarecrows in the barn and muttering something under his breath while cleaning up the manure. Instead of watching TV shows with me, he spent the evenings <laughs> in the attic. I didn't know what he was doing there, but could hear strange sounds coming from above. It seemed Terry was talking to himself. Long story short, my cousin was very fishy. Mom kept grumbling that I should be studying for exams, but I didn't pay her any mind and enjoyed the summer. I talked to animals and filmed them. Hey Miss Cow, you've become a real star. Look how many likes the video with you got. I went live once. I was looking around as I chatted with my subscribers and stepped into a cow pat. Ugh, of course. I knew that cows pooped, but I didn't <gasps> think it would be so unpleasant. <laughs> Mom looked at me and rolled her eyes irritably. You're embarrassing me. 
I hope none of my friends will see this video. One day, I was lying on the lawn and watching Zootopia. Which character is your favorite? Tell me in the comments down below. Mine is Nick, of course. My mom came up to me and said that she had to go back to the city for a couple of days. Terry will look after you while I'm gone. I didn't mind at all. However, as soon as mom left, my carefree vacation turned into a living hell. It all began the next morning. I woke up as soon as a rooster crowed outside the window. I put on my ears and went down to eat breakfast. But instead of pancakes, Terry put a bowl of cat food on the table in front of me. Wash your paws. Breakfast is ready. Uh, I thought it was just my cousin's bad attempt at a joke, but things only got worse after that. I was lying on the couch and listening to music when Terry came up to me, mad as hell, and threatened me with a newspaper twisted into a tube. Get off the couch! Cats have their own beds! Hey, it's not funny. He was going too far. When I was taking a selfie for a new post that evening, Terry came up to me with some sort of brush and said he was going to comb out my fleas. Have you lost your mind? Kitty, 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 don't run away! I barely got away from that psycho. I complained to my aunt about her son's behavior, but she was exhausted after taking care of the animals all day and ignored everything I said. Yeah, sure, I'll talk to Terry. If she did, it didn't work. My cousin kept acting worse by the day. He treated me like a pet. Living with him was unbearable. Mom did not come back to the farm and rarely answered the phone. Mom, have you forgotten about me? Sorry, Monica, it's taking a bit longer than I planned. I'll be there soon. Just enjoy your holidays. Ugh, I couldn't relax even for a second because I was waiting to see what Terry would do next. One day, my cousin replaced all my cosmetics with animal hair care products. That was the last straw for me, and I decided to have a serious talk with my cousin. That evening, he was doing something in the attic as uh -huh. usual. I went up there and saw something crazy. Terry was sitting there, surrounded by creepy scarecrows and reading a book aloud to them. When he saw me, he hid the book and shouted at me. Scram! Bad kitty! Terrified out of my mind, I ran to my room and hid under the covers. I finally realized why my cousin was acting so weird. He was nuts! The next morning, I called my mom, but her phone was off. My aunt went shopping. I didn't want to be left alone with Terry. I was too scared to put on my ears and tail because that clearly pissed my cousin off. And then I saw Terry putting a lock on a huge cage by the barn. A chill ran down my spine. Who did he want to put inside it? I was terrified. I couldn't stay on the farm a minute longer, so I ran away. I found myself in the forest, tripped over a tree root, <gasps> fell, and lost consciousness. And then I heard a mysterious voice. Mew Mew! Can you hear me? A familiar silhouette suddenly appeared out of the darkness. It was... Wow! Nick! The fox from Zootopia! He spoke to me like a wise mentor and convinced me that I had to be strong. You should defend your right to look however you want and do your hobby no matter what it is. I knew it was just a dream, but he truly inspired me. I opened my eyes and grinned. Okay, it's time to teach Terry a lesson. I decided to teach my crazy cousin a lesson. Huh. If he treated me like a pet, I would act like a pet with very sharp teeth. <laughs> I came back to the farm and put on my ears and a tail. It was time to get revenge. I snuck into Terry's room and scattered all his things like a naughty pet. Then I went down to the living room and poured water from a vase on the floor. Hey, Terry, I spilled water on the carpet. Guess you'll have to clean it up now. All night, I ran around his room like a mischievous cat so that he couldn't get any sleep. Mew, mew. <laughs> and then I scratched at the door and ran away. The next morning, Terry had bags <laughs> under his eyes the size of turnips. Oh, and this was just the beginning. I snuck into the barn and ruined his precious scarecrows with scissors. When Terry saw that, he turned paler than a ghost. Monica, what have you done? I hid the scissors behind my back and smiled smugly. <laughs> well, I need to sharpen my claws somehow. You are insane. <laughs> he had no room to talk. I hadn't started our war, but I would finish it. I had one more thing planned. That evening, I sneaked into the attic to ruin the books my cousin had been hiding from me so carefully. Here you are. <laughs> At that moment, the door flew open and a terrified Terry appeared. Monica, I know what you're up to. Please don't do it. I spent all my savings on those textbooks. Uh huh. I realized that those really were textbooks on a variety of subjects. I was confused. And then my cousin sighed guiltily and finally <laughs> told me the truth. I have nothing against you being a furry and all that, but your mom can't stand it. She asked me to teach you a lesson. What? I never thought mom would stoop so low. I was about to call her again and tell her everything I thought of her, but Terry said she had promised she would help him get into college if he did what she asked. I'm sorry about everything I did, but I really want to get a good education. Please play along until I pass the entrance exams. Let your mom think you've given up being a furry. He stared at me like a guilty puppy, but I wasn't about to forgive him so easily. First, you tell me why you got that huge cage. Oh, come on, I'll introduce you. 
We went into the animal pen and I saw a family of rabbits in the cage. Wow. Oh, they were so sweet, I almost melted. <gasps> And then Terry said that he often read the textbooks to the scarecrows in the attic because he was trying to get ready for speaking in public before college. Oh, well, uh -huh. I was glad my cousin wasn't a wacko. We made a truce and promised not to bother each other anymore. While Terry was studying, I took over his household duties. I helped my aunt to take care of the crows and rabbits. Everyone loves animals, but taking care of them is hard work. I liked it though. Seeing how hard my cousin was working got me thinking. His family lived on a small farm, and Terry could not afford tutors and spent his pocket money on textbooks. But he wanted to study and dreamed of going to college. Meanwhile, I'd never wanted for anything and studied at an elite school. Because of my hobby, I stopped putting in effort at school. Could it be that hmm. mom was right and I should get more serious? A few days after that, my mother came back to the farm and did not recognize me without the ears, tail, and makeup. Oh, Monica, I'd already forgotten what you look like without all that nonsense. I was still a bit mad at her, but didn't start a fight because I wanted to keep her word and help Terry get into college. A couple of days later, we came back home. It was the end of the summer, and we had to get ready for the new school year. I realized that I had to grow up. So I clutched my furry outfits to my chest, and then I put them in a box and hid them in the closet. That's it. Now, Mew Mew is just plain old Monica again. Mom was glowing with happiness like a light bulb. She finally got her way. I waved goodbye to my fandom and promised to study hard. Soon, Terry moved into our town for college. He was terribly nervous because he was used to having scarecrows and not real people as listeners. But his hard work paid off. My cousin nailed the entrance exams, and the best thing was that he didn't even need mom's help for that. There was an open day at his college, and I went there to congratulate Terry. He was chatting with his mom and Mrs. Gray when I found him. You've impressed me, young man. We need more talented students like you. I felt so proud of my cousin. I came up to him and patted him on the shoulder. Congrats! How are things on the farm? The scarecrows send their love. <laughs> uh -huh. Then Mrs. Gray's eyes bulged out like she'd seen a ghost. You were Mew Mew? Why did you stop posting videos on your channel? Can you imagine? <gasps> it turned out that prim old lady was a furry and my devoted fan. She even showed me a photo of herself with ears. <laughs> now it was my mom's turn to be surprised. Mrs. Gray, but you are so successful and serious. I am. I take my work very seriously. But in my free time, I put on cat ears and relax. You can be successful and have weird hobbies. I crossed my arms over my chest and looked at my mother pointedly. I think we need to have a serious talk, Mom. Well, it seems we had both been wrong. I had been too carefree and my mom had been too demanding. Luckily, we were able to find a middle ground. Kids should get to have fun with their hobbies as long as their marks don't suffer. I followed my cousin's example and started to prepare for the exams. I wanted to get into college without my mother's help. And when I had some free time, I posted new videos for my subscribers. That's it, Fluffies. Who do you want to be in the future? Tell me in the comments down below.